Does your back ache after a night in your RV? Well, ours does, and we're going to make a change, and we're telling you what it is in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. If you're new to our channel, I'm Patrick, and welcome to Travels with Delaney. Now, in this episode, we're talking about mattresses for our trailer. We've noticed over the last few times that we've stayed in here that our backs are really hurting. Now, our trailer, our New Camp Tab 400, came with three cushions and they're on top of the Froley sleep system. Now we absolutely love the Froley sleep system. It's these little plastic springs that do a couple things. Number one, they almost act like a box spring for your cushion or mattress. And number two, they help keep that cushion or mattress elevated so that you get some airflow. Also helps to prevent with mold or mildew on your mattress and cushion. So we really like that. Now the reason New Camp puts three cushions in here is so that you can actually access the three panels under your bed. Two of them go to the under storage and one goes to where your Aldi heating system is. Now, that makes it very convenient, but if you decide to take it out and go with a single mattress, then you're going to have a much more difficult accessing those panels. The good news is I can still get to the under storage through that outdoor baggage door on the trailer. The only time I'll really need to get under here is when I go to remove our lithium batteries in the winter months or if I need to replace a fuse on our Aldi heat system. Otherwise, that really shouldn't be an issue. Now, we had been using the three cushions for the full two years, and what we had done to make them just a little more comfortable was we had used memory foam on top. Currently, we were using a three-inch memory foam that we had bought at Walmart last summer when we were out in Oregon. We were experiencing the same thing and thought that the memory foam we had maybe had broken down and... Initially, that new three inch piece had really helped as far as our backs hurting. But now we've noticed it's happening again. And this time, I think it has less to do with the memory foam and more to do with the original cushions. We use our trailer a lot. We're not just weekend warriors. Because we teach and we're able to travel in the summer months, we've been going out for anywhere between five and six weeks each summer, along with spring break, Christmas, and any time else that we can get out in our trailer. So I think what's happened is those original cushions are just starting to break down. So we decided that it was time to look at something different. And in the past, we've owned a lot of trailers and never have we had a mattress that we really liked that came with the trailer. Usually they're on the uh, cheaper side. In the past, we had ordered the Zinus memory foam mattress through Amazon. Now those were eight inch mattresses. We really liked those mattresses. I was gonna order that same exact mattress for this trailer, but the problem I was concerned with was would eight inches be too much? I took some measurements and with our three inch memory foam and the original cushions, we were at about six inches. So I started looking for a mattress that might come in closer to six inches. Now you might say, well, what's wrong with a couple extra inches? You see this wall behind me? This this is the curvature of our tab 400 and it comes in pretty steep so the more we raise this back up the less room we have when we're laying there against the ceiling so I didn't want to get too high so ended up finding a six inch mattress that had excellent reviews now it's not from Zinus it's from a different company now the mattress we went with ended up getting excellent reviews online and just has some really nice features which I'll tell you about in a little while so first thing we need to do is we're going to remove the old cushions and then we're going to go ahead and begin the process of setting up our new mattress all right so this is our new mattress. Now I ordered this on Amazon and it is a memory foam mattress from a company called Inofia. Now I'll put the link to it down below in the description for this video, or you'll be able to find it over on our Amazon shop. Now I chose this one, even though I've never ordered from this particular brand before, but it got such great reviews and we knew about the ones we had purchased in the past, um, and really like those and you can find that one over on our Amazon shop as well in an 8 inch But this one got great reviews and it's 6 inch. So I decided you know what? Let's try something different now 
Hopefully it's just as good as the ones we've ordered in the past, but we will find out. Now, one of the things about this six inch mattress that I liked was it has three layers of foam. They start in the top with a layer of memory foam, then they have what's known as comfort foam, and then the biggest part will be the supporting foam on the bottom. It also, in the pictures, actually looked like a mattress. So. We'll just go ahead and unbox this thing and get it out. Now, if you've never ordered a mattress online and you're nervous about it, well, don't really worry because they shrink wrap them so they come in a fairly small box considering, now I'm six foot tall, you can see it's kind of a tall box, but it's not that big and they'll just deliver it right to your doorstep. Once we get it out of the box, it's gonna be almost like shrink wrap and what, and what you wanna do is probably get it in place because once you open it, it's going to start to expand. Now, most of these mattresses will say it takes a good 48 hours for them to fully expand. So we have found that a lot of times within a few hours, it's expanded quite a bit. But if you're worried initially that, boy, it didn't expand like it should have, give it time because usually that's all it takes. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. There we go, we've got it out of the box. Let me get this box out of here and make a little more room. Now we have our mattress out of the box. It's still in the plastic wrap and I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic wrap till I have it actually laying on the bed because this thing's gonna start expanding pretty quickly once we cut into the plastic. Now, when I was picking out this particular mattress, in addition to getting really good reviews, I was impressed that the company advertises a 100 night sleep trial. And if you're not happy within the first 100 nights, you can send it back. The other thing is they say they have a 10 year warranty on their mattresses. So those were kind of the reasons that I decided to go with this brand over the Zinus, Z-I-N-U-S, that we've ordered in the past. Now I will say, we've had two of the Zinus eight inch memory foam mattresses in the past and loved them. And we've had a couple family members also buy them on our recommendation and they swore by them as well. But again, sometimes when I'm doing these videos, I like to try out new products to help you out to let you know if they're good. And the fact that this gets really good reviews and I was impressed by that 100 night um, sleep test as well as the 10 year warranty. So let's go ahead and throw this on the bed and cut it open. Now I just noticed as I was pulling off this packet with some instructions, they actually include with you this cutter. You've all seen these before, you use them on envelopes. But I'm guessing the reason they included it was so we don't take a knife and accidentally cut our mattress to get that plastic off. So that's kind of a nice little feature. All right, I'm gonna be really careful and I'm gonna use the device they included. I'm just gonna find an opening here. Now, if you're doing this in a bigger trailer, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier, but we'll make it work. Now, you, I don't know if you can tell, but I'll get you a close-up shot. I like the way this is quilted on the top and it has the seam on the edges. Again, it really mimics the look of a regular traditional mattress, which you don't typically see in the uh, memory foam mattresses. Now, one of the ones we've always had have just had the foam inside and then it has a zipper case that you can take off. Um, as far as I'm aware, this does not have the zipper case. So maybe that's a downside that you can't take off this and wash it like you can a traditional foam mattress. The other thing is with some of those traditional foam mattresses, if you have an odd size bed, you can usually open up that cover, cut your memory foam. Bread knives work really well. Electric bread knives work even better. Put it back in, now your cover will be a little large, but you can make it fit custom to your bed. So we'll just check this out as we get it out of here. All 
All right, there we go. I've got the plastic completely off of it. And you can see here that it doesn't look that thick. But again, remember, it's going to take somewhere between 24 and 48 hours to reach its maximum height. So we're just going to let it go and we'll come back out in another 24 hours and check it. And so far, it feels really nice. But I know that it's got quite a ways to go to get to that comfort level we're looking for. Let's go ahead. We'll check back in in another day. All right, we've had the mattress in here for about 24 hours, so let's go ahead and take a measurement, see if we have getting our full six inches on this foam. So here we go. We're going to call that about the bottom, right about there. And I'll tell you what, I would say this is a good six inches. Might be just a little short, but again, we're only about 24 hours in. It actually sitting pretty nice. I'm definitely not hitting the bottom, which is always a concern with these mattresses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this mattress made. It's gonna set for another 48 hours and then we're gonna go camping and we're gonna find out just how comfortable it is. Good morning, everyone. We just woke up from our first night's sleep with the brand new mattress. Mm -hmm. So how'd you sleep last night, Patty? I slept pretty good. Yeah, definitely an upgrade from what we had. Yeah, definitely. I have absolutely no back pains or shoulder pains this morning and um, never felt like I was hitting the bottom of the bed. Right. Correct. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, we definitely got the full six inches. Mm -hmm. it, it Letting it set for a couple days like that definitely helped. Now, one thing to remember is with these memory foam mattresses, if your trailer is cold, the foam is going to be hard. Yes. So when we went to bed, it was a little chilly in here. Yeah, uh, mainly be more firmer mattress until right. it warms up. But this morning, um, you can definitely feel the softness of it. Uh, you know, yeah, it feels nice. good actually. Yeah. I had no back pains this morning. No. So. And then just like anything, you got to make. I always call it my groove. Yep. Um, the bed conforms to your back and how you lay, and it takes takes a little time to get in your space. <laughs> yep. So, and I remember that from our prior, right. you know, give it a week or two, even if at first you're thinking, wow, this is hard or it's uh -huh. just not, because you'll get used to it and it will actually get used to you. you yes. So, all right. I think this one's going to be a keeper. We'll let you know for sure uh, later this summer after we spent several weeks on it. Right. But as of right now, I think this was a good investment I, and I think, I think so. we're going to be a lot happier. Yep. Let Definitely. us know what you think about the mattress in your RV and do you still have the original one or have you replaced it? What'd you replace it with? Yes. Till next time, everybody. We'll see ya. On down the road. Good night.